I'm Dwayne Janoskevich. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about cutting corners and how I get the name for my presentation called Stop Cutting Corners. Well, see, cutting corners basically uh, comes from the transportation industry. If you cut a corner uh, with a trailer, it caused big trouble. And back in the days of horse and buggy, big trouble, trouble could be uh, um, quite a tragedy. Well, cutting corners for me came with a piece of wood like this. All I had to do was cut a corner out of it. And the tool that I needed to use would have been a bandsaw or my jigsaw. But I decided to use the table saw. And that decision, that one little decision, had a big impact on me and on my life. This next little clip is from one of my presentations, actually down in Winkler, Manitoba. And I'm talking about the definition of cutting corners. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, remember to subscribe to my videos. Thanks. Have a good day. Cutting corners is removing part of the process, attempting to achieve the same result at the end. So you say, I, need, I know I need to get here, but if I skip this and this step, I probably can still get there. Well, in most situations, those steps are there for a reason. Process improvement is good, but make sure you're not risking quality or safety. Some people will call it a trick of the trade. I learned this, it's so much faster. But if you're risking either one of these, it's not a trick of the trade, it's a trap, and you will get caught. This is what happened when I cut corners. If any of you are on Twitter, there's my Twitter handle, uh, D. Janiskevich, nice, nice and short. <laughs> short as you can with a big, long Polish name. Uh, I was a risk taker. I never really thought I was a risk taker, but growing up, living, uh, having a construction company and living on the farm, you just learn how to do things. A friend of mine, he says, how do you know you can do that? I said, well, how do you know you can't do that? <laughs> it was a matter of, if somebody can do it, I can figure out how to do it. So it's a matter of that mindset putting you into harm's way at times, making sure you're safe. I thought I was being safe because in this picture, my chainsaw is way down here, but I have no sort of fall protection way up in that tree, about 35 feet up. A fall from that height would be dramatic. I'm going to have a little bit of homework for you because I'm going to compress my time here just to shade. And I want you to think about small decisions that have big impact. So we think about, we think about big decisions. We think about them long and hard. This might be a decision where you're going to work, what you're going to do, if you're going to get married, if you're going to go wherever. You think about those decisions for a long time. But a small decision might be, I think I can make this light. I should take this text. I'm expecting a message from somebody. I can drive faster than this world allows because I need to get there. Those are small decisions, just tiny, often inconsequential, but sometimes, sometimes very consequential. Sometimes they have a big impact. And usually in a room like this, I get people to talk for the next three minutes about that small decision. About a small decision you've made or somebody in your family has made and how it's impacted your life. Quite often those are something called a near miss. If you haven't shared a near miss with somebody, I would encourage you to do it before the end of the day. Somebody that you care about. Somebody that you don't want to see do that same thing that just about happened to you. Okay, so that's your homework for today. Thanks for watching my video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Also, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have some time, why don't you check out my website, stopcuttingcorners.ca. See you next time.